Hi, everybody. Welcome. Hi, Heather. Hi, Carly. I'm ready to yoga, too. Thanks for stopping by the chat early. So good to see everybody. And feel free, those of you new to the Core Power live stream experience, welcome. Welcome to Sunday midday-ish, depending on... Howdy, Joseph. Good to see you again. Um, midday, wherever you are. Some of us across the whole world, though. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are. Welcome, I'm so glad you made it. Uh, carved out time in your life for some yoga today. It's wonderful. Boston, Joseph, yes. Carly, hi from DC. Thank you so much for being here. Namaste, namaste, Ornistar, namaste. It's good to have you, thanks for coming. Diane, oh my gosh, you're so welcome. Thank you for being here, Rebecca. CPY Tustin, whoo! Tustin in the house, OC in the house. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, Jesse, hello, Denver, Colorado. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining. Let me know, is that music a little bit too loud? Hey, oh, Paul, I'm so glad I am too. Paul, it's so good. I bet you're, I bet you're there with Nick too. Say hi, love you both. Good to see you. Hello from Dublin, California. I got excited. I was like, Dublin, Ireland, yeah. Music is good, Joseph, thank you. Great, thanks so much, team. Well, I, I, we're early, thanks for being early, and I, I do have uh, something for us to, to work on to start. Oh, Crystal, hello, from Denver. And the music is good, but we can only see the bottom half of my face. That's weird, because I'm seeing the entire part of my face. Is that better? Yeah, thanks for letting me know that. Let me know. I, it looks like I'm seeing the whole thing. So that is, can't hear you on YouTube. Eric, uh, gonna go double check his computer. Good. Samson, you can see me. Awesome. Thanks for coming, Samson. Oh my gosh, the master trainers. I told him, I'm like, let's all take a day off and yet they're here for every class. I, I feel the same way. I just, welcome Colton. Yes, Niblia, welcome. San Diego, San Diego, San Diego. So good to have you in the house. Uh, you were supposed to be in Dublin, Ireland, but clearly that changed, so you're home in California. Well, grateful, Anne-Marie, that you're here. Um, Nicole Fan Bam, hey, how are you? So good to see you. I hope you're, hope you're with Josh, or say hi to Josh for me too. Team, it's so good for us to be together in this way. JP, it's great to see you. Welcome, welcome, yeah. Absolutely, say hi to other people in the chat. If you're just jumping in, welcome to Core Power Livestream. Please um, chat in where you're, where you're at, where you're from, flowing in your PJs. Wait, I just thought I gotta get back to that. Flowing, Christina's flowing in your PJs in Zen Den. Also, uh, so just took Samson's class. Yes, you did, I saw you chatting in there. Thank you so much. Uh, Josh is doing some reverse crunch warm-ups. <laughs> excellent, excellent. We will have some more of those too, I promise you. And Mary from Washington, D.C., welcome, welcome. Yeah, group Skyping and doing yoga with us. Yes, you are, Jennifer. Yes, we are. So team, today I'd love to start with a gratitude practice. And this is something that all the master trainers, oh, Kristen, happy Sunday to you. Excited from sunny Denver. It is, it's so beautiful. Hey, can I show you all something? So yes, we have sun, but look at, look at my amaryllis here. Can you see this thing? It just popped out Friday. It was like halfway. Oh, Carly from Huntington. That's right. OC in the house, San Diego in the house. Can you believe how beautiful is that? This amaryllis. I know. Unbelievable. So happy to be with you, Danielle. So happy to be with you. Yeah, all the love to Minnesota, Jackie, and DC, Danielle. Um, so this amaryllis just popped out. She is a game day player. I, I had a bunch of amaryllis that bloomed in January. Now I feel like it's, it's Gardner's World. It's like Gardner's World, Denver, Urban Edition. I get to talk about the amaryllis, but I love bulbs that, that come out in the winter to remind you of spring, right? And so most of the amaryllis, usually they get ready to flower and they force them early so that they're flowering in January and February. And, and most of ours did, except this one was really behind. Uh, she was behind and she already had her first flowering. Oh, Beryl from San Jose, hello, hello. Um, and now she's getting, she's getting her second flowering and it's just like, I just am so happy. Did you just plant a few things indoors? Yes, Louise. I, I don't, you know, for me, gardening and just, you know, even, if, even though I can only garden in pots, it's so, 
it's just so beneficial for me. It's so good for my soul. And uh, hi from sunny Denver, Rue. It's good to see you, buddy. It's good to see you, Rue. Thank you so much for being here. I'd love, that's what I was grateful for this morning, is how much the amaryllis popped out that I could get to show you. Yes, Kristen, it's such a beautiful day. What are you grateful for? What are you, oh, my brother said, hey, hey Eric, hey, hey, Zoe Karras, and, and Reed, and Kina, listening in, my family. Uh, my mom, I think, is also Mama G, as we are calling her. Uh, mom's probably watching as well, so shout out to my family. Hello in Phoenix, oh my gosh, thanks for chiming in. Team, I'd love to have you chat in. What are you grateful for today, right? We know the science of gratitude. The science is in. Gratitude helps people. People uh, recover from surgery, from um, injury and illness uh, faster with a gratitude practice. They live longer with a gratitude practice. So I ask you today, let's go back to Sean Acor's original research out of Harvard University's What's one new thing you're grateful for in the last 24 hours? What's one thing you're grateful for in the last 24 hours? Eric, my brother says, thankful for being able to connect during social distancing. Yes, Eric, we were calling it, we were calling it physical distancing, social connection, because this is a great way for us to connect all across the country. Grateful for Target as a place I can actually interact with people live. Yes, other than yoga online. I love it. Yes, Joseph. What else are you grateful for, team? I'm I'm so grateful my husband um, has been, um, we, you know, we just moved in and, and he installed our water filter and it's like having water is huge. Grateful for the blue jay chirping outside, Amy, yes. Carly, grateful for my family are well and keeping a sense of humor, yes. Hot Heather connection and sunshine, I'm 100% with you. It's just so good after having the snow on Thursday and Friday and, and even still a lot yesterday, it's so nice for it's mostly melted now. So great, investing in wellness and myself. Jilly, that's awesome. Oh, wow, thank you for Zoom, totally. Thank you for, uh, you had a vir virtual game night, Paul. I love it with your eight friends, awesome. Grateful for your son, grateful for your dog. Everybody, awesome. That gratitude is like fortitude for us, right? It, it boosts our immune system. Grateful to have snuggle time with my dog, Nigel, Christina. Yes, oh, awesome. And Marie, grateful for Amy's practice, great. I, I am too, I'm so grateful. So grateful for Amy's flow, Joel's, all of the, all of the master trainers, the amazing teachers that we've had on, on YouTube streaming. Hello from Minneapolis, Christine Caputo, yay! 300 hour Minnesota team, yes, 300 hour TT. Grateful for streaming yoga, I am too. And for us to connect this way. It's just totally the light of my life. Well, gratitude is the foundation for us today. Grateful for online gaming and connection with dad in KY. Yes, Betsy, thank you. I just got off a, a Zoom call with my brother Eric who was chiming in and my brother Kirk and his family and then my dad and my mom and Barb, uh, my dad's wife, and we just, uh, it was so good to see everyone that we could. Not everybody could get on the the uh, the cameras working but for most of us we could see each other and it was just a joy or a star grateful for the power uh, and support of the CPY community to connect share and love even in challenging times I agree I agree I, I think us finding this connection is really important at this time hi Craig good to see you welcome Team, let me say this too, it's, uh, it's a few minutes before start of class. Uh, if you've got a strap, a yoga strap, fantastic today. If not, grab a towel or a t-shirt. Um, I will, there's a part where we'll use a block, but a block is not needed. You certainly can use like a water bottle. Just make sure that it's a water bottle that screws on because we're gonna move it around with it. So make sure that it can seal. But now's a great time. Also, last few minutes before we actually get started. Uh, now's a great time if you need a bio biology break, go do that for sure. Um, and again, grab, if you can, grab a towel or a yoga strap if you've got it, a block or a book or your water bottle that seals tight. Uh, we'll use those throughout class. And I would set up, yes, Joseph, if you can, I would set up sideways to your device. So whether you're viewing on a TV or you're viewing on a phone or an iPad or your computer, um, I would set your mat up um, parallel to the edge of your screen. Yeah, we'll do that again today. Thanks for asking that too. 
Absolutely. Those of you, uh, we've got a bunch more people jumping on. Welcome. Happy Sunday. Love to hear uh, and start our connection together today with one new thing you're grateful for in the last 24 hours. One new thing you're grateful for in the last 24 hours. Uh, my brother Kirk is texting me furiously saying how much he loved connecting with our family and I'm grateful for my brother Kirk and Eric. Grateful for beautiful sunshine in Boston. Yes, sunshine in Boston today. I'll take it. Uh, Zoom meeting with our family as well as what my brother just said. Eric, yes, grateful. And Maureen, yes, beautiful sunshine in Boston. What are you grateful for? One new thing you're grateful for in the last 24 hours. If you haven't typed in, please do. Paula Coletti, aloha malholo. Oh, grateful for the sunshine and the trade winds in Hawaii. Paula, there's a few of us that would love to be with you right now. <laughs> so at least virtually we are. Robert, so good to see you from LA. Oh, I'm grateful for connecting with old friends too. Alicia, uh, grateful for online connection, yeah. And that I could pass the link to so many people. Thank you, representing from Florida and Iowa. Oh my gosh, Florida, Iowa. Yes, thank you, thank you so much, amazing. Um, um, Amanda, grateful, figured out how to connect to this class, yes, and the sun in San Diego. Grateful for your bedroom, Gina, and the door in the backyard, and they can still go to the backyard while self-isolating. I totally agree. I totally agree. Craig, your dog, support of your fellow yogis in the comfort of your home. Yeah, Adrian, beautiful family connections, totally. Paul says, Laura, I love it, I love it. And Haley, grateful to be flowing virtually with my mom and sister on the other side of the States. Amazing. Oh, Laura Gobins is saying hi, Paul. Uh, and Haley, uh, love to Haley too. Jennifer Hazleton, hello. Just lots of happiness and yoga, yoga emojis and happy faces. Heather Perkins, grateful family is safe. I'm grateful, Heather, that you're on. You're such a such an amazing contribution to Core Power. So thank you, Heather, for being on. It's it's incredible. Jen, my daughter, home from Botswana. Yes, and the Peace Corps. Um, it says Lease Corps, but I'm assume, assuming that's Peace Corps. Um, and thank you for her work. And Tess is on. Oh my gosh, grateful, grateful, grateful. It's so amazing. Tess Roaring, to be able to take your class. My friend, I'm just so grateful that you're here. Thanks for coming, Tess. Tess, also beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous friend of mine and, and uh, such an amazing contribution to Core Power as well. Grateful, Beth, for this beautiful day in Denver. I am too, and other uh, connecting with yogis virtually. Incredible. Yeah, Kristen saying hi to Jen. Danielle saying hi to Jen. Allie, grateful to flow with my yoga sis. Christina, who's in Pennsylvania and she's in Hawaii. I love it across across the at least United States. That's for sure. Grateful, Michelle's grateful for all the healthcare workers. I am. My brother's a healthcare worker. Amanda, the workout yesterday had my legs burning. Right? Oh yes, I know. The master trainer is incredible. Um, and Amy, love for my sisters doing this together. Neil, so good to see you. Grateful for this community and for the sunny day in Sacramento. Yes. Uh, Lindsay saying hi, Paula. Hi from Sacramento, California, Elizabeth. Uh, I'm grateful for all the frontline healthcare staff showing up for I am too. G Fuel, that is my mom again. So, Mama G. <laughs> and there she is. Um, hello again today, Mom. That's so good. I'm glad you made it. Lindsay, grateful for moving indoors. Me too. Crystal, my Sicily partner in crime, flowing with me in Dallas. Yes, hi, Kat. Alicia Wilson, grateful for virtual connection community. Friends, if I can just share with you, Alicia is one of uh, the people who keeps Core Power going. And so, Alicia, we're, we're grateful for all your work. She's been working tirelessly this week, as well as the operations leaders and the people at SSC, the people on customer experience. I just, I'm so grateful for all of you. So grateful for all of you. Um, those of you that are just joining the chat and just joining the flow today, oh, hello. Why do I feel famous that I got a mention? Because you are famous, Jen. You got like 12 mentions. Um, team NYC in the house, Laura Govins. That's right. Grace, hey, Joyce, extending, excited for the class. Jenny, hi from Minneapolis. Yes. Christina, aloha to you as well. Thank you. Adriana, hi, Laura. Chrissy, so grateful for my CPY PDX team. I'm so grateful for the Portland team. For those of you that don't know PDX, that's the standard for the Portland airport that everybody just has adopted now for, for using it for Portland. Christina, hi from DC CPY, yes. 
Oh, Joel is happy to moderate. Thank you, my dear friend Joel. Joel Klausler, one of our master trainers and truly, truly earns that title, a master, master human as well as a master trainer, will be moderating. If you have any questions on poses or something I say or something goes challenging with your, uh, with your interface, uh, Joel's there for you, just type in and he'll be responding. Also team, let me say this, if you know, it's Sunday, so I don't know, but I it was a little glitchy for me earlier this morning. I think maybe more people are online. If you notice that things start to slow up as we start to flow, you can always hit refresh on, um, on your browser and that will help a little bit. The refresh seems to really be working. So just let you know, yeah, Jen took Joel's um, class uh, this morning and now me, oh my gosh, grateful for you, grateful for you. Kelsey's joining from DC with her best friend Maggie in New York City. Yes, this is it, we're across and yet together. Karen, yes you are, Team Orange County. Oh my gosh, my, my home away from home, OC, OC, it's so good to see you all. So good to see you all and, and hear you all and be together. Adrian, grateful, I made it in time, just home from Trader Joe's. I'm so glad you got food, Adrian. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get it. That's right, Danielle and Jen Kay, we're gonna get it. Hi, Danielle from Christina, so good. Team, you can be dropping in what you're grateful for. We've got another minute or two before we start to flow. Let me say this as well, for those of you that just joined, um, ideal, to, it's not necessary, but ideal today if you've got a towel or a strap, a yoga strap, or even just a t-shirt, grab that really quick. That to me is gonna make the flow, like that's a great tool to have the flow um, go even more important and even, even better today. So I would go for some sort of towel or a t-shirt. Um, at one point, only one point will use a block, but if you've got a water bottle that seals up, you're good with that. That's really all you'll need it for uh, is a little bit of low back work. Let me tell you, oh yay, Rochelle from Campbell, um, OA, no, California. Woo! Might be time for the glasses, Joel. Might be time to pull out the glasses. I'm grateful making soup, Samson, tonight. I'm gonna have grateful, I'm gonna have grateful soup tonight too. I'm definitely having soup tonight. Jen Miller, hi to fellow Minnesota friends, saw a couple, absolutely. Myra, Mira, grateful for Adrian Naomi FaceTime yoga together during this. Me too, Jen. Um, Etsy saying, misses you, Jen, so. Absolutely awesome. Team, let me share with you where we're headed today. So again, those of you new, I see a bunch of more people are jumping on. If you've got a towel or um, a strap or a belt would work or a t-shirt will totally work, that would be great for the flow today. I'll show you also how it is not necessary either, but you certainly, um, certainly if you've got that or it's easily accessible, um, absolutely do that. The other thing I just wanna share is Families are welcome to practice together. Uh, so, you know, absolutely invite your kids, uh, have them flow in and out. If, you're, if your fur babies or not fur babies are running around, that's great too. We're all in it together. Yes, Ming, Ming, hello Ming, uh, so great. And uh, team, the other thing I'd like to share today that we're gonna work on is courage and strength. Uh, so our, you know, I, I call Brene Brown my good friend. I call Brene Brown Core Power's good friend. I don't know that any of us know her personally, but she's my spiritual sister, I think. I think of her that way. And uh, I hope many of you might think of her that way too. She is a spiritual warrior for, I think, for humanity. And Brene Brown, in her research, she found that people who have a gratitude practice are more resilient, right, in times of really catastrophe and da and disaster, right? Um, when you when she interviews people after that, the people who are the most resilient, who recover faster from surgery, from illness, and from disasters, they all have a gratitude practice. They all have a gratitude practice. And in her research, what she said, the data shows, is that people, humans, we have a hard time leaning in and experiencing present emotions, emotions that are rising up, right? So, uh, so the challenging emotions, being with the dark, so to speak, the really challenging emotions, our gratitude practice is the foundation for us to be able to lean into that. So in essence, if you want to boil that down from her beautiful data and research, gratitude is the foundation for us to lean into strength and courage. 
So I'll ask one more time, and those of you that haven't shared, feel free to type in, what's one new thing you're grateful for in the last 24 hours? And look, if you don't wanna type, you can just put your hands on your heart. And think of, and those of you that have already said one or two things, think of one more new thing that you're grateful for in the last 24 hours. One more new thing that you're grateful for in the last 24 hours. And let that be the start of our practice. Our gratitude practice is the start of our practice. All right, my friends, with that, great, but Christina, grateful for friendship and community. Uh, Ashley, my lungs, me too. Being healthy, yes, Nina. Uh, Lara Gobins, we are so grateful for Alicia Wilson. I would agree with that. Uh, Mary, grateful for my little nephew who's turning four this week. Fantastic. Molly, love of each other. My family, feeling better, healthier. Adriana. Rochelle, I'm so glad to, Adriana, that you're feeling better. Opportunity to practice patience, just being. Uh, Samson, long-lasting friendships. Uh, Jess, my husband being home. OG, online community. And Alicia, Jess at my crew. Yes, absolutely. Yes, I love this crew. Wonderful online communities. Yes, Neil, surrounded by nature, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The ability for groceries to get delivered. Brittany, truth fast, I'm with you. I completely agree. I'm so grateful for that. All right, team, I'm gonna start moving things around. Now's a great time for you to move around too. If you can get a towel or a t-shirt, um, grab that. Meet me on your mat. Again, recommendation to put your mat long ways or uh, parallel to whatever device you're viewing on. I'm gonna move things around and we'll get started in a minute. Team. That looks pretty darn good. Oh wait, a little bit better even. Here we go. Yes, I'll take it. All right, we'll get the right music playing. Again, if you've got a towel or, um, or a strap of some kind, that's always fantastic. I'm gonna turn the music up, team, to what I think is an appropriate level, but I'd love to know how's that for the music. I know it's a little bit light here, but uh, give me a thumbs up, Joel, if that music sounds good. Yeah, music is good, awesome. Thanks, team, thank you so much. All right, get yourself ready. Again, towel or a t-shirt will be fantastic. That's really all you need. If you've got a yoga mat, great, but as Samson reminded us earlier this morning, all you really need is your body, so whatever you got is perfect. Let's meet over on the mat. We're gonna start in child's pose. <sighs> Come on down to your mat. Bring your toes together, open your knees wide, extended child's pose. Reach your arms way out in front of you. Bring your forehead down onto the mat. Take a deep breath here, inhale. And exhale. One more just like that, deep breath in. Mm, deep breath out, amazing. Inhale, please rise to all fours, rise to all fours. And then cross your legs, roll onto your back. Bound angle pose recline. So roll onto your back, bring the soles of your feet together, butterfly your knees open, and then take both of your hands onto your belly. Notice this pose is like the pose we just did, but belly up. So it's the belly up version of child's pose. With your hands on your belly, take a deep belly breath. Breathe in and let your belly balloon up, just like a, like a baby's belly does when they're breathing. Big breath in and complete breath out. Again, feel your belly rise. Inhale. Exhale. Four more just like that. Deep breath in, big belly breath. Let your belly balloon up. And then let it just fall. Two more at your own pace. Again, let, your, let the entirety of your core relax so that as you breathe deeply, your lungs expand all the way down and they push all of your organs out and that pushes your belly out. And then let your abdominal muscles tone just enough to exhale all the air out of your lungs. 
Take your final slow, deep belly, belly breath in. Deep belly breath out. Half happy baby. Take your right knee, bring it up, and you can grab either behind your thigh, calf, ankle, or inside, outside your arch. And then gently pull your knee off to the side. Feel free to rock a little bit. I love this one. Rocking a little side to side. If you're feeling it this morning, feel free to extend your leg all the way out or just slightly out. Just start to explore opening up the back of your leg, your upper thigh, hamstring, and your inner thighs, right? The inside of your thighs, your adductors. Good. Come on back to bent knee, deep breath. Exhale, release. Right foot down. Let's take the left side. Left foot, half happy baby. Again, you can always grab behind your thigh, your calf, or inside, outside your ankle, your arch. If we were watching my nieces, Karis and Zoe, they would have their foot behind their head at this point. But, you know, that's what it is to be an amazing professional dancer, you two. Incredible. The rest of us, we just breathe. We don't have Cirque du Soleil contracts yet. Feel free to extend your leg or not. Again, this is all about you and your exploration in your body. Breathe in. Exhale, release slowly. Soles of your feet together again. One last belly breath. Deep breath in. Good. Deep breath out. Draw your knees together. Bring your knees to your chest. Roll up and over. Plant your palms. Bear pose. All fours. And then levitate your knees two inches off the mat. Hovering tabletop, tabletop for those of you in the middle of the country. Good. Pause. Isometrically draw your wrist back and your toes forward. Feel that, feel that, fire up your 360 core. Knit your front ribs in, cinch your whole waist in, deep breath in. Good, exhale, high plank to downward facing dog. Draw your tailbone high, unbuckle your knees and then take your sit bones even higher. Reach through your shoulders, reach through your ring fingers, feel that spread and broaden your shoulder blades on your back. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, inhale, lift your heels and look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Generous variation, bend your knees, widen your feet, and then let your belly come all the way down in between your thighs and then sway your hands side to side. Feel free to take your hands behind your head. Feel free to take your hands behind your back. What feels good for you? Sway, let go, rather than what it looks like, right? Just get into how does it feel today? How does it feel today? Feel strength and courage to let go of the outer and be more in the inner. Deep breath in, exhale, release. Gratitude is your foundation. On that solid foundation, toe heel your feet together. Inhale, high halfway lift. Reverse, reverse crunch here. Bring your hands behind your head. Arch your back, lift up high enough that you fire all the muscles on either side of your spine down to your glutes and your upper hamstrings. Breathe in. Good, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Root down, rise up, stretch. Exhale, standing at attention. Gaze at your fingertips or close your eyes. Set your intention for this practice. What is it? Would you like a little bit more peace, a little bit more freedom? Would you like a little more energy? Would you like solid immune system? Do you want more relief from your mind? What is it that will give you more and more peace and freedom on a daily basis? Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Add to it. We're going to build strength and courage together. Inhale, open your eyes. Exhale, release your hands down by your side. Inhale, mountain pose. Root down, rise up. Interlace and flip your hands, team. Interlace and flip your hands. Kick back and open. Yeah, breathe in here. Breathe out as I fix the camera, bear with me. There we go. Inhale, breath, stretch up. Exhale, side bend, stretch over to the right. Oh yeah, it feels so good. Inhale, mountain pose up. Exhale, side bend, stretch over to the left. Amazing, inhale, mountain pose. Now arch back, look up. Good, exhale, forward fold. Pull your core in to hinge from your hips. Inhale, high halfway lift. Get up high, reverse crunch, hands behind your head. Push your fingers in. Exhale, high plank pose, step back. 
Inhale, shift forward an inch. Exhale, all the way down to the mat. Feel free to come to your knees and roll down. Reverse crunches, team. Hands behind your head. Lift your head and feet. We go up, down, up, down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. As you're working here, feel the strength. Push your fingers into your head and your head into your fingers. You'll fire the muscles from your neck, down through your glutes, all the way to the back of your calves for four. Let's go for three. Last two. Last one. Woo, that got it warm. Inhale, all fours. We're high plank by pulling your core in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feel free to walk it out, team. Take a deep breath in. A deep breath out. Look at the strength in your hands. Claw the floor with courage. Inhale, lift your heels. Look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Float or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, high halfway lift, reverse crunch, building strength on your back line. Exhale, forward fold, hinge. Inhale, mountain pose, interlace your fingers, flip them up. Exhale, side bend, stretch over to the right. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, side bend, stretch over to the left. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold, hinge. Inhale, reverse crunch, high halfway lift. Exhale, high plank pose. Inhale, shift forward an inch. Exhale, come all the way down again. Feel free to come to your knees and roll down as well. All right, externally rotated reverse crunches. Take your toes out, heels in. Come to cactus with your arms. It's a lat pull as we lift and lower down. Let's go, let's lift it up and down. Up, down, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Feel it. Now we're working the side lines of our body, side of your glutes, side of your core, and the side of your back, your lats. Pull in. Let's go for four. We can do this, team. Three. Last two. Amazing work. One. Plant your palms. Tuck your toes. Pull your low abs in. Bite your front ribs in. Inhale. High plank as one cylinder. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Amazing job, everybody. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Breathe into your heart, the source of your strength, the source of your courage right there. Inhale, lift your heels and look forward. Exhale, forward fold, float or step. Inhale, high halfway lift, reverse crunch, strengthen your back line. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees a lot. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit down and back. Trust yourself. Be courageous. Sit a little bit lower. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Create that deep crease in your hips. Then draw your tailbone down. Bite your front ribs in. That's your strength. Lift your heart. That's your courage. Breathe in. Good. Exhale. Vertical twist to the right. Good. Inhale. Chair pose. Exhale. Vertical twist to the left. All right. Shoulder heart opening Kriya. Go chair and twist it going right left right left inhale exhale inhale exhale flow team doesn't matter what it looks like just keep going kids at home make fun of your parents because you can rock at this so well because you don't think as much as we do about what it looks like you go into the field go four three two one inhale arching mountain bring your palms together gaze up arch back look up past your thumbs Exhale, forward fold, hinge. Inhale, reverse crunch, high halfway lift. Exhale, high to low push up. This is our first one, team. Feel free to come to your knees and go halfway down, yeah? Inhale, upward facing dog. Push your thighs off the mat. Draw your shoulder blades together to open your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, down dog kick. Lift your right leg high, lift up. Listen, exhale, right knee to right, armpit, higher than your elbow. Yes, inhale, down dog kick. Good, exhale, low lunge, bring it through. Good, inhale, crescent moon, draw your back knee down, reach your arms up, breathe here. For those of you in other parts of the country, kneeling crescent, kneeling warrior, all those things, right? Here in the middle of the country, we would call it crescent moon. Inhale, reach up. Good, exhale, two straight legs. Tuck your back toes, straighten both of your legs, airplane arms. 
Use the muscles in the back of your chest, the back of your upper back to lift your arms high. Squeeze your inner thighs. Fire your outer glutes to stabilize you side to side. Amazing. Inhale, crescent lunge. Rise up and breathe. Here you are. First one here, so give yourself some space. Feel free to come in and out of it. Root your front heel down and drag your back big toe mount forward to level your hips to the front. Draw your tailbone down to fire your 360 core. Unite your front ribs. Inhale, breath. Straighten your back leg if you're ready. Exhale, vertical twist to your right. Open up. Again, feel the sides of your waist. Turn your torso to the side. Inhale, warrior two. Broaden your stance. Get big, get long here. As you're breathing here, check it out, team. Point your right knee directly forward. Feel free to bend straight, bend straight. And then come into it. Prioritize your knee pointing straight forward. Your back foot can carve in a little bit. That'll draw your left hip forward a little bit. That should free you up to make sure your front knee is always pristinely forward. Then take your rib cage, rotate it to the side so your arms are out to the side. Feel this working. You're opening your pelvis, you're strengthening your side glutes, you're working all the way through your legs. Deep breath in. Good, exhale, extended side angle. Take your top arm up and over. See a line, feel it from the outside edge of your back heel, reaching through the crown of your head, and extend that, arm, that line through your arm. Amazing, inhale, star pose. Heels in, toes out. Feel free to back bend just a little bit, like a beautiful day, right? It is a beautiful day. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, horse pose, rock it side to side. Woo, team. It is Sunday, I hope you're feeling it, I'm feeling it already. Take your forearms and iron out your inner thighs to your knees. Inhale, long spine, exhale, twist to your right. Inhale, long spine, exhale, twist to the left, drop your right shoulder down. Inhale, long spine, exhale, twist, one more slow. Inhale, long spine, exhale, twist. Let's do it to the beat, let's go, go twist, twist, exhale, exhale, for four, Three, two, all right, get ready to fire up your inner thighs. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Now again, breathe here, just pause for a moment. Adjust, do you need to carve your back toes in just a little bit so you can prioritize your front knee, right? We're letting go of the external so we can prioritize the internal. To have the strength and courage to look at the most important things in our life Letting go of the external world, just a little bit here. Inhale, reverse warrior. As you breathe here, lift your left hip tip up. Use your right side waist to fan your left ribs open. Breathe in. Good, exhale, high to low your way. Feel free if you'd like, my friends. One leg lifted, elbows to your ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Let's take it on the left side. Inhale, down dog kick. Lift your left leg high. Exhale to your armpit. High up. Let's go. Inhale, down dog kick. Good. Exhale, low lunge. Bring it through. Draw your back knee down. Inhale, crescent move. Breathe here. Or kneeling crescent or kneeling your thing, right? Insert your name. Breathe in. Good. Exhale, two straight legs. Airplane arms. Your back heel will be off the mat. This will destabilize. So draw your inner thighs together. Squeeze your outer glutes. Lift your arms up. Use the strength on the back of your heart to open up the front of your chest. Inhale, crescent lunge. Breathe here well. As you root your front heel down, isometrically drop back up. Breathe well was for you, Adrian, my friend. Root your back big toe down and pull it forward. Again, cinch your front ribs in, cinch your whole waist in. Inhale, breath. Exhale, vertical twist to your left. Open up. And again, squeeze your outer glutes to stabilize your pelvis. To fire the sides of your waist, rotate your torso more. Amazing. Inhale, warrior two. Open up. We've been here before, so not quite as long. Get right into it. Prioritize your front knee, pointing directly forward. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, long and lean. Again, feel that one line from your back arch all the way reaching through the crown of your head, extending out through your hands. Draw your left hip back a little bit and see if you can get a little longer. Use the sides of your waist to stabilize you. 
Inhale, star pose, rise up. Oh, breathe in this beautiful day. Exhale, horse, come in and down. Rock side to side, let's go. Go back and front, go back and front. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. For four, three, two, one. Inhale, star pose, rise. Good, exhale, warrior two, to the front. Amazing, inhale, reverse warrior. Breathe up, breathe back, you can do this. Exhale, high to low your way. Could be one leg lifted. Look, you can also skip the high to low and hold plank. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. My friends, amazing, we're gonna flow this. But right now, we're gonna do what's called an eternity mandala. So mandalas are circles, right? I'm gonna come up close. Mandalas are circles, right? We usually go two times on the right, two times on the left, and that gets us all the way around the circle. We just did one side of the circle. Now we're gonna go like this. We're gonna make it an eternity kriya. When life, the cycles of life, get turned upside down, you've gotta find your center. Gratitude is the foundation for you to find the strength and courage in your center. We're gonna start on our left side, team, from downward facing dog, deep breath in. Complete breath out. Inhale, down dog kick. Lift your left leg high. Exhale to your left armpit. You got this. Let's do it. Inhale, down dog kick. Good. Exhale, low lunge. Bring it through. Draw your back knee down. Inhale, crescent move back. Breathe up. Exhale, two straight legs. Squeeze your inner thighs out of glutes. Crescent lunge. Rise up. Exhale, vertical twist right. Hey, YouTube, how you doing? I feel you. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, long and lean. Inhale, star pose. Rise up and reach. Exhale, horse. In and down, in and down, side to side. Inhale, star pose again. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior, rise up. Listen, exhale, high plank. Plant your palms, step your feet back. They stay hip width distance apart. Inhale, side plank, feet stagger. Reach your right arm to the sky. Amazing, so you have your right foot in front of your left. Take your right hand on your hip, lift your hips. They go up, down, up, down. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, feel the sides of your waist make this motion. Knife, especially your left foot into the floor. Side glute strength right here for four, just four more, three, last two. Oh, I feel it. Last one, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. We're gonna complete this eternity mandala. Inhale, down dog kick, lift your right leg high. Good, exhale, low lunge, bring it through. Draw your back knee down. Inhale, caress and move. Good, exhale, two straight legs. Squeeze your glutes and inner thighs. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. Good, exhale, vertical twist to your camera, to your device. Hi, everybody. Inhale, warrior two. Broad stance. Exhale, extended side angle, long and lean. Get strong, open up. Inhale, star pose. Good, exhale, horse, deep and low. Inhale, star, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, warrior, lift up. Good, exhale, high plank, plant your palms. Feet hip width distance. Again, inhale, side plank. Roll your heels right, lift your left arm high. Your left foot is in front of your right. Left hand to your hip, let's go, go up. Down, go up, down, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. You're doing so good. This side, knife the outside edge of your right foot into your mat. Get strong on your side body for four, three, last two, last one. Inhale, high plank, exhale, downward facing dog. Walk that out. Well, that just happened. That just happened. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. All right, team, we're gonna add some fun into it if you're ready for a little bit more kicked up in the mix. 
I think we're ready. Inhale, lift your heels, listen. Exhale, to all fours. So Joel Klausler took us into the most amazing entry into hurdler's pose. Those of you rocking hurdlers, we're gonna do it on our right side, so feel free to rock that out. Those of you who wanna join Joel's amazing entrance, here's how we do it. Inhale, extend your right leg back. Exhale, right knee to outside of your elbow, right? Bend your elbows back behind you, and then adduct or squeeze your hands together to fire the front of your chest. This is courage. This is strength of your front of your heart. Now lean forward into that, push off. Lean forward, I'm gonna hit my water bottle, not ideal. Lean forward, and then lift your back leg up. Extend. Oh, maybe you only go for a second. That's so cool. Replant your palms. Inhale, down dog kick, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, bring it through. Draw your back knee down. Inhale, crescent move like an offering on the strength of your back to open your heart. Exhale, crescent, two straight legs, airplane arms. Good, inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. Nice, exhale, vertical twist to your right. Amazing, inhale, warrior two, open up. Exhale, extended side angle. Again, long and lean. We're gonna add on here. Inhale, star pose. Reach out, expand. Exhale, horse, in and down. All right, friends. Wings of the heart, Kriya. So, strength and courage combined. Strength is third chakra. Courage is the ability to open up to the heart chakra. Compassion and doing what you must in life. Right, what's there? Reach your palms out. Palms together. We go out and in like that. Go out and in. Faster. Faster. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Slap your hands. Wake up your heart. Feel the energy between your hands. Activate up your arms. Straight into your actual heart. Straight into your spiritual heart. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, sit low. Four, three, two. One, inhale, star. Shake your hands, open it up, open it up, shake your hips, open everything, feel the change in the energy. Inhale, extend. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Good, inhale, reverse warrior. Take a full breath in, fill up your whole left lung. Good, exhale, high plank again. High plank, step back. All right, team, keep your feet hip distance apart. Pilates rainbows, inhale. Side plank, lift your right arm to the sky. Now watch this. On the exhale, draw your hand in and under. Yes, inhale, side plank. Good, exhale, draw your hand in and under. Amazing, inhale, side plank. Exhale, lift up on your toes, curl your front ribs in, you got it. Inhale for two, exhale under two. Go up, go up, go exhale, exhale. You got this team, I'm so proud of you. This is not easy, but sometimes the right must win over the easy. Two more, go one, go all the way through this wrap. Go last one, all the way up, all the way down. Good, inhale, high plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog, listen up. Inhale, down dog kick, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, bring it through. Listen, here's the change. Inhale, star pose, all the way up. Exhale, side lateral lunge to the back of your mat. Side lateral lunge, skandasana, those of you Sanskritis, keeping track, are you ready? Turn your extended leg toes up to the sky. By the way, all these mandalas that we're doing, flip your brain around too. They balance the hemispheres of your brain. So please know this, if you're like on a different leg, it's all good, we're gonna do the other side soon. So it's absolutely no problem, you got me? You jamming, you jiving. Feel free to extend your extended leg further out to get your lifted back, bent knee, heel. If it was off the mat, get it down if you can. Deep breath in. Even just a try is worth it, yes? Good, deep breath in, deep breath out. Good, lift your hips. Now rotate so that the inside edge of your extended foot is on the mat, kind of like we were doing inside plank, and then lean in. We just moved the stretch from the back of our legs, our hamstrings. Now it's on your inner thighs. I'm sure you feel it. I feel it too. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. 
Okay, in a second, we're gonna sit all the way down. So you may need to toe heel in to be able to do that. Sit all the way down on the ground. If this is too intense on this knee, your bent knee, feel free to come into, um, in, come into like a half baddha konasana, a half bound angle here, yeah? Absolutely fine, or stay lifted like this. Now, take your extended leg, that arm, hook your peace fingers, grab around to your knee, and then squeeze to the midline, roll your shoulder on the back. Now, if this is not accessible, you can grab your calf, you can grab behind your thigh, or you can use your strap or your towel, wrap it around your foot. Lean back, lift out to the side. If your knee is bent, that's so sweet and so fine, then extend your leg as able. Roll your right shoulder on your back. Deep breath in. Mm, deep breath out. Slowly, with control, pull your arm up and slowly lower your foot down. Control, control. Woo! No thud. But if you thudded, no problem. Nobody knows, except your kids. It's all good. All right, back up to that side lateral lunge. Inhale, star pose, rise up. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just give yourself a break, little down dog break. Walk in place. Oh, I feel good, are you feeling good? I am feeling stronger, that is for darn sure. Um, I'm willing to get to courage. I hope you are too, willing to get to courage in your life. I ask us here at this moment, before we do the left side, um, what would it take for you to get courageous enough to breathe deeper, to try some of these crazy things, just try them on. If it doesn't look the same, it doesn't matter. Because that's courage. In the face of fear, you act. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, down dog kick. Lift your left leg high. Exhale, lower it to the mat, because I forgot. Inhale, lift your heel. Exhale, all fours, team, right? Joel's amazing entrance. Feel free, I have to walk back a little bit. Feel free to do that. Inhale, down dog kick, extend your left leg back behind you. Exhale to your armpit. Bend your elbows. Squeeze your hands together on your mat to increase the strength on the front of your heart. Then lean into it. Think of it like a catapult. Think of it like a cantilever. You're going to lean forward, cantilever, so you can get your back leg up and maybe extend your left leg out. Right? There's your hurdler's pose. Thank you, Joel Klausler, for that new entrance. When you're ready, let's kick it. Down dog, inhale, down dog kick, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, bring it through, draw your back knee down. Inhale, crescent moon, rise up. Exhale, two straight legs. Open your heart by squeezing the back of your chest. Inhale, crescent lunge. And exhale, vertical twist to your left. Inhale, warrior two, open up. Exhale, extended side angle. We do another set. Inhale, star pose, adding on here. Exhale, horse, rock it side to side. All right, wings of the heart kriya. Again, palms out together. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, go, go. Even faster if you want, faster. Sweep it across. Now, if we were in Gurmux Kundalini class, we'd be doing this for what she would say would be five minutes, but I promise, her timer doesn't work. So we'd be doing it for 14 minutes at the very least. At the end of the classes, I'm always like, I swear next class I'm gonna bring her a timer. Gonna bring her a timer. Not that long. Stay in it, stay with it. Eight more, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, star. Ooh, shake your hands, shake your hips. Hi everybody, hi YouTube. Woo! Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Get ready, exhale, high plank pose. Again, Pilates rainbows. Feet hip distance apart. Inhale, side plank, lift your left arm high. Let's go, go under for two. Go up for two. Go under, under, go up, up. As you go under, come up on your tippy toes. Lift your hips up. As you lower down, knife your feet into the mat. Two, go up, up. Yes, four more. Doing great. Last three. Oh, amazing. Last two. 
All right, I'm with you this last one. Last one. Up, go under, under. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, high plank pose to downward facing dog. Right, we've got one more little set. Inhale, down dog kick. Lift your right leg high. Good. Exhale, low lunge. Bring it through. Listen. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, side lateral lunge to the front of your mat. With your extended leg, toes up. Extended leg, toes up. Whenever I come in this pose, my bent knee leg, that heel is off the mat. Here's what I've found through the years. If I slide my extended leg out, I can get my heel down. But it's not essential. Either way, you're gonna be feeling amazing sensation in the back of your leg. That is essential. Go into that. Breathe. Isometrically, you can pull your heel back a little bit to fire up your hamstring. Protect it from overstretching. Deep breath in. Mm, deep breath out. Let's take this to our inner thigh. Come up. Turn your foot so the inside edge of your foot is into your floor mat. And then lean in. Breathe. This one, I like to put my elbow into my knee. Get a little double inner thigh stretch. Deep breath. Deep breath out. We're going to sit down in a moment. About two more breaths, everyone. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Okay, lift up. Toe heel in a little bit till you can sit down. Remember, you can always let your foot come out a little bit. You can come into that half bound angle pose. It's totally fine. Any of those, those variations are awesome. Again, if you like, there's your towel, there's your shirt, there's your strap. It can go around the outside. As you do this, grab the towel right at your foot. It will adjust to whatever you need. Take your hand, wrap around your bent knee. Lean back, lift up, extend out. Back, out, and up. Feel free to draw your left shoulder blade onto your back. Open up your heart, open up your inner thigh, breathe in it. Slowly pull up with your left hand to slowly lower your foot, slowly. Slowly control. Yes, team. Amazing. All right, we flow back to that side lateral lunge. Inhale, star pose. Woo! Exhale, warrior two to the front of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just come to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, come to your knees. Please have a sip of water, my friends. We're a little over halfway through. Slanchava, cheers to you. Mm. How you doing, everybody? <sighs> Energetically, I can feel you, although I can't hear you, but I can feel you. I feel you. I feel um, us coming together. I feel your strength. That is so side body strong. Obliques, outer hips. That is so courageous heart to do those poses. Please, if you have, again, a strap or a towel, at this point, hook it around your neck, and then we're gonna to come to the center of our mat together. Center of your mat, separate your feet hip widths, unbuckle your knees, forward fold again. Ha. Release just a little bit of the heat. I'm gonna to turn to a 45 in case you need to see anything, okay? At a 45 angle, you don't have to. Rock a little side to side. Revolved forward fold, take your left hand center of your mat, it could also be on your water bottle. Spider fingers, so the tips of your fingers are down, your palm is lifted up. Good, bend your left knee, inhale, revolve, forward fold, take your right arm to the sky, and rotate your wrist one way, on to then the other way, yes? Just to relieve any tension from those lovely hurdler's toes, thank you, Joel Kay. Amazing, breathe in. Exhale, release, switch. Right palm to the center of your mat. Bend your left, right knee. Straighten your left leg. Inhale. Revolve forward fold. Feel free to rotate your hand around, yeah? Rotate your hand one way and then the other. Feels so good. Deep breath in. Exhale, release forward fold. This one, with your knees bent, bring your belly in between your thighs or as close thereof as you can. Wrap your hands around. Maybe grab your wrists, your forearms, if you can, grab for your elbows. Squeeze in and then press out with your legs. Arm squeeze, thigh press. Carve your hip crease in and up. Start to elongate on the back line of your body. 
to whatever level feels great for you. Go in, challenge yourself with strength and courage to find your flexibility on the back line of your hamstrings, your calves. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. All right, team. Inhale, mountain pose, rise all the way up. Exhale, standing in attention. Stabilize your left leg. Inhale, tree pose, Vrikshasana. Take your right foot, take the sole of your foot today into high up into your inner thigh. Doesn't hit there, you can just avoid your knee and come onto your calf. Yeah, never at the knee. Always lift your heel up. Now, push your foot gently into your thigh and squeeze your left side butt and push your thigh into your foot. That can help hold it a little bit more. Amazing, bring your hands to your heart center. Any other arm variations you want, arms to the side, you could bind behind, chest expansion, you can interlace, flip your palms, anything that feels good for you, reverse namaste. You want to play with closing your eyes, the courage on the strength of your legs, you can close your eyes. Last four, good big toe pose variation, three, in two, start to open your eyes, close eye yogis. Release your hands. If you've got your strap or your towel, now's the time to grab it. Hook it around your right foot, yeah? Feel free to re-stabilize as I needed to. Take your left hand to your hip crease. Now take your right elbow inside your thigh. Stomp down. Use your side glute here. Squeeze your left side butt in and up. Push your right elbow into your thigh and your thigh into your elbow. Take your tailbone back just a little bit. Spread your sit bones and then carve your tailbone down and in and extend your right foot forward. Again, this is wearing a little bit of a strap. Your belt, your t-shirt's incredibly helpful. Good, big toe pose, A. breathe in. Good, back to that starter pose, breathe out. Right elbow inside your knee. Okay, hinge forward again. Push your elbow to your thigh, thigh to your elbow. Feel your sit bones spread. Feel space between your cheeks, not these, these. Ready? Big toe pose B. Carve your tailbone down. Inhale, open up to the side. Feel free to expand your left arm out to the side. Stomp down with your left side butt. Feel your left side waist help you. Adopt your right shoulder blade onto your back. Breathe in. Oh, breathe out, Louise. Shake it out. Amazing. You did so good, team. Strength and courage. That's an incredible pose. Strength and courage. Woo, taking it all the way home. Other side, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, standing at attention. Tree on the left, left sole of your foot to your inner right thigh. Again, think about squeezing your right side glute to push your thigh bone into your foot and then your foot into your thigh bone, all those beautiful muscles on your leg. If this is too high, you can go right below your knee, just avoid your knee joint. Feel your left side glute carve your knee open and out. Feel a beautiful, amazing opening in the front of your hips, the deep inside of your pelvis, deep breath in, and deep breath out. Here we go, big toe pose, take your strap. Around your left foot, or not, yeah? You can grab your big toe at the outside edge of your foot. Take your left elbow inside your left knee. Push your elbow to your thigh, thigh to your elbow. Hinge forward, spread your sit bones. Now carve your tailbone down, extend your foot out. Woo, lift your heart. Courage to stomp down. Courage to be unstable. Courage to find your strength again when you destabilize. Breathe in. Good, breathe out. Come back to that starting position. Push your left elbow to your thigh, thigh to your elbow. Space again, broadening at your back of your pelvis. Draw your tailbone into that space. Here we go. Big toe pose B. Open up. Extend your arm to the side. Draw your left shoulder blade onto your back. Squeeze your right side butt. Squeeze the right side of your waist. Open up, extend, breathe in. Good, exhale, release, breathe out. Amazing, towel or strap to the top of your mat. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, standing at attention. Two more like that. Inhale, and exhale. Last one, inhale, breath, and exhale. Moving on, team, please turn to the front of your mat. Inhale, mountain pose, one more time. Arching mountain, palms together, arch up, gaze back. Exhale, forward fold. 
Good. Inhale, high, halfway lift. Exhale, squat and curl. Curl into a little ball pose. Round your spine. Grab either your block or your water bottle. Roll all the way down onto your back. Take your block, put it between your thighs. Right, your block or your water bottle, your book between your thighs. Take the inside edges of your feet together. This is my low back health and upper back health protocol. Uh, through the years, I, I think I've shared with many of you, I have scoliosis. Mom knows this very well, she does as well. I have scoliosis and SI joint instability from that torque from my scoliosis. Um, so I've lived with chronic back pain on and off my whole life. I've worked with 23 different PTs and chiros, and in the next five minutes, I'm gonna give you the best, the highlights reel of all of that to make your back feel amazing. Whether you have a herniated or a bulging disc, whether you have a low back, just um, tenderness, general tenderness, SI joint dysfunction or scoliosis. This is for all of us, okay? Reach your arms to the sky, Superman. Exhale, robot your arms. Squeeze your block between your thighs. If you don't have a block, squeeze your inner thighs. Now take and rotate your knees. Go right and left. Go right, left. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Side to side rock. You're moving through the back of your pelvis, but you're not moving your ribs. So your shoulder blades and your rib cage is completely quiet. Your pelvis is doing the rotation. Feel that, squeeze your inner thighs. We're working on strengthening our inner thighs here. You're doing amazingly well, team. Let's do four more. Four, three, last two, last one. Amazing, keep your block where it is. Open up your feet like one inch apart. Release your palms on either side of your hips. Inhale, bridge pose. Root your heels down to lift your hips up. Press the back of your head into the mat. Think of your palate. Press your palate into your mat to fire up all the muscles on the back of your neck to promote the rainbow in your neck. Right, good. Now inhale, breath. Exhale, rock your head side to side. Rock your head side to side, side to side. Release all the tension in your spine as well. So now we're working reversing tech neck. Many of us are working in unusual conditions. This is gonna help you release tension in your neck and shoulders. Go for four, go for three, last two, last one. Now keep your hips lifted, squeeze your block together, pulse it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, hold up in two. Hold it up, hold it up, my friends. Pulse your hips, go up, up, exhale, exhale, for four, three, Two, one, gently release, lower it all the way down. Remove your water bottle, your book, your block, whatever you've got. Happy baby pose. Grab inside, outside the ankles, your arches. As we started class, we're coming towards the end. This is full happy baby pose. Now, what I like to call supine Spider-Man. Take and rock your left knee all the way to the mat. Then extend your right leg out and pull it open, right? Hopefully you feel really different from the beginning of class. I think it takes so much strength, side body, glute strength, to open up, right? To be able to open up your hamstrings, your inner thighs, to take those big toe pose variations. Back to center, happy baby. Feel free to rock a little side to side, just like a blissful baby. Now rock onto your right side, right knee all the way to the mat. Supine Spider-Man, extend your left leg out. Or supine lateral lunge, like Skandasana. Think of it that way. And again, just notice that I can feel radically, I'm, I'm so much deeper into this with much more ease than the beginning of class. It took the strength to inquire into all of those poses. It took the strength of the drills. And then the willingness to be courageous enough to open up, we did that. Deep breath in, exhale, knees to chest, or supine ball pose. Wrap your knees with your arms. Maybe you grab for your elbows, your forearms. Feel free to rock a little side to side. This is such a good one, team. You can bring your knees all the way up to your chest. Rock a little side to side. Deep breath. Listen, exhale, take your hands on your shins. Half open ball pose. Roll your pelvis down. Now take circles with your knees. Rock and roll, circles with your knees. One way, 
other way. So right circle, left circle, right circle, left circle. Reverse that, right circle, left, reverse it. That's really where your brain gets a wonderful workout. All right, exhale, release, bridge pose. You've done amazingly well. Now pelvic clock, take and rock your pelvis. So arch your low back, take your pubic bone away from your face. And then exhale, curl your low back flat, pull your pubic bone up to your chin. Good, and then forward and back. Inhale, arch, exhale, curl. Inhale, arch, exhale, curl. Again, amazing relief for your low back. The one thing we didn't get to do today was bird dog, and so I would say on from all fours, right arm forward, left leg back, pulsing up, and then reverse it, left arm forward, right leg back, pulsing up. Incredible, if you start to feel your low back getting tender as you're working from home or being more sedentary, just jump on down and do some bird dog. Do some bird dog. All right, friends, so you could try bird dog if your low back's really tender right now, or join us in bridge or wheel, team. Bridge or wheel, and then once we're up, it's five breaths. Five breaths. Five breaths for the truth that the courage of our third chakra sits on top of the love, the unconditional courage of our heart chakra to be able to speak our truth. Five breaths, fifth chakra. Those of us going into wheel, flip your palms, broaden your hand stance. Inhale, come to the crown of your head. Turn your pinkies out and your elbows will point straight back behind you. Exhale, root your heels down. Inhale, lift your heart up. Wheel pose, bridge pose. Any back bend you want, we're a little bird dog team. All in it for five breaths. Give it three more breaths. Two more breaths. One more breath. Release. Bring your feet on the sides of your mat, knees bent. Rock your hips, rock your knees side to side. Windshield wiper. In a moment, in a moment. We're gonna drape our knees all the way over to the right. And then take your right ankle ooh, and hit your chair. Don't do that. Take your right ankle, hook on top of your left knee, and then extend your left arm out. Feel this incredible stretch on the front of your thigh, front of your hip crease, right into your psoas. Bite your front ribs in. You'll feel the stretch go right in and under your front ribs, all the way to your low back. Amazing. Inhale, super in figure four. Keep your right foot crossed. You're right there. Push your right elbow into your knee. Oh, outstanding. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale, supine cow face. Cross your right knee all the way over your left. This is at all uncomfortable. You can just hook your hands behind here, kind of like a loose eagle legs. Um, or grab your shins, your calves, your feet, pull your feet apart, arch your low back. Again, there's always ways to customize, right? There's ways to get um, really creative. There was ways to be resourceful, right? No strap, no block, no problem. No mat, no problem. You got a body, you can flow. No body, you breathe. No breath, you be. Resourceful. That's what it is to be strong and courageous. We can be resourceful together. Good, keep your knees crossed. Supine cross leg twist. Drape your knees over to the left, gaze right. Take your arm, your right arm up to a 45. Take your left hand gently rest on the top of your left thigh. You can think about drawing your right hip away or take your left thumb, hook it in your hip crease, push your left thigh away. Find a deep breath in. Mm, complete breath out. Amazing team. All of that again on the other side. Come back to center, uncross. Take your feet as wide as your mat. And again, windshield wiper, side to side, side to side. Do a few rocks side to side. And then we're gonna hit the left side. So side to side, side to side. And then when it feels good, just land on your left side. Take your left heel, hook on top of your right thigh. Oh, and then take your right arm up and arch your low back. Bite your front ribs in just a little bit to increase the sensation on the front of your hip flexors, up and under your psoas. 
see you, I see you, Nicole and Josh, all the way to California, all my friends in San Diego. Minnesota, I miss you so much. Open your heart. I lived there for like eight months and I still have the accent. Open your heart. Because it's just contagious. Inhale, supine figure four, cross your ankle, grab your foot, press your elbow out. Feel free to rock a little side to side. This feels good, you could stay or supine cow face. And again, intense, you can just sling your hands underneath here and kind of like a, a loose eagle and just rock it side to side. Or take your hands on your shins, ankles, feet, pull your feet apart, arch your back. We're almost home, friends. I mean, we've been home, right? But I don't mean like home, like H-O-M-E. I mean like home, like H-A-U-M. Like we're actually finding our deep inner home. The courage to look inward, I've heard it over and over again from you. The strength to, uh, in the face of darkness and uncertainty, find light. Bring your knees together. Oh, sorry, keep your knees crossed and supine twist, cross-legged, drape your knees across, left arm up and over. I've seen you, your strength and your courage. It's going to be required. It's going to be required more and more in the days to come. So thank you for practicing it on your mat. It takes a lot of strength and courage when things get dark to look into the dark and keep your light, your inner light. And that's gratitude, my friends. Gratitude will shine your light bright and it will give you the foundation that your yoga practice will give you the strength and courage to look into the dark and still shine light. Inhale, uncross, come back together. Again, supine uh, ball pose. Up and awesome the knees to chest, draw your knees in, rock in side to side. Be grateful for your sweet, sweet body, your sweet vehicle. Be grateful for this time, actually. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. My friends, I'm going to show you. I'm going to come at a 45. This is floor shaking. So when you come into a final rest pose, root your heels down and then point flex, point flex until your whole body is shaking and it's like your head's gonna make it yes, no. That's what you go for, floor shaking. Point flex, point flex, go. Shake, 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 come on, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Last four. Last three. Last two. Exhale, final resting pose. Final resting pose, dear friends. Let yourself completely relax. It takes something in the face of, you know, uncertainty, of quite honestly dark to be willing to see light. Be willing to even look for gratitude. Be willing to stand on one leg and extend the other leg out. That's strength and courage. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, Eric. I think one of the truly underrated epics that has been written in the world about strength and courage comes from an amazing author. Her name is J.K. Rowling. And in her fifth book of the Harry Potter series, Harry has been fighting Voldemort for years, for almost half his life, the darkness. And he believes that he really truly is bad. And he shares that with his godfather, Sirius Black. He says, I think I'm bad. And Sirius looks at him and he says, no, you're not a bad person. You're a very good person that bad things have happened to. The world isn't sorted into good people and death eaters. We've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. That is who we really are. So take a deep breath into the light. 
and breathe out. You are a light worker. Inhale, reach your arms over your head, stretch long. Exhale, bring your knees to your chest, roll to a side and come up to a seated position. And then bring your hands to your heart center. My sweet friends, you are light workers. I know this, I know this because I see you, I hear you, I value you. And we are workers of the light. Doesn't mean we don't have dark, doesn't mean there isn't dark, there is. But you've gotta protect your light inside you. You have to have the courage to stand on your convictions and open up your heart fully, yeah? We all have light and dark inside of us. It's what you focus on that matters. It's what you act on that matters. And very, very soon, very, very soon, it will become very, very important to not do what is easy, but to do what is right, right? And right looks different at moment to moment, but the strength and the courage to see the truth of what is right is needed all the time. And every time you come to your mat, you can get stronger. Every time you breathe, you can get stronger to open up your heart. And I know that's the case. Inhale, thumbs to your third eye center. Exhale, bow forward, honoring this beautiful practice that we call yoga, namaste. Yeah. So we all have light and dark inside of us, right? There's dark all around us, my friends, and we have to be willing to see it and keep our light. So keep your gratitude practice. Keep remembering, namaste, Rochelle, namaste. Keep remembering uh, that what, what we do and how we live matters. Yes, Joseph. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, Louise. Love you. Love you. Thank you all. You matter. The work you do, the way you be is the greatest work you'll do. Kind of like the Harry Potter saga, you know, there's lessons for us and we never, ever, ever get to skip a grade, you know? You gotta pass the owls every single grade actually, right? The owl examinations. We have, we can't stop avoiding our life lessons, my friends. This is what this time is about. Let's be clear, this is a unique time in all of our lives. We can use it for the light. And I invite you to do that. Thank you, Alicia, I love you. Namaste, Gina, thank you. Namaste, namaste. Love this community, love you. I agree, I couldn't agree more. Team, we're gonna do a very short healing energy practice. Um, I feel like the courage and the strength you built, it's time for some energy techniques that I learned from Donna Eden. This one is the spiritual seatbelt uh, because, you know, just like Dumbledore says, dark times lie around us and ahead of us. And there will be a time when we must choose between what is easy and what is right. And I know you can choose what is right. Stay with the light and choose what is right, yeah? Let's do the spiritual seatbelt. Take your right hand, pull your right shoulder down, and then sweep your hand across to your right hip crease. So left hand on your shoulder, pull down, and then sweep to your hip crease. Right shoulder down, sweep. Left shoulder pull down, sweep. Right shoulder pull down, sweep. Left shoulder pull down, sweep. Right shoulder pull, left shoulder pull. It's your spiritual seatbelt. Here's one for amazing productivity and so that you can have the most wonderful rest of your day. Take your thumbs, put one thumb into your third eye center, that's the space between your eyeballs, and one thumb into or onto your belly button, depending on what kind of belly button you have. Thank you, Beryl, I see you, thank you so much. Push in and lift up, inhale, breath, exhale, release. Good, inhale, lift up, exhale, release. That was two, let's do three more, inhale, Hi, Amanda, yes to you. Exhale, inhale, exhale, two more. Fifth one, inhale, and exhale. Release, that's called the hookup from Donna Eden, the hookup. All right, friends, Joseph, this is for you. This is tapping. Donna Eden's seven points of tapping. So um, we're gonna start on our cheekbones, one, two. Becca, I see you, thank you so much. Becca, I see you. 
Cheekbones one and two, breastbone is three, underneath your collarbones. So everybody feel your um, clavicles, your collarbones. Come about midway and then come underneath them into the meaty part underneath them and sort of massage around until you feel like the tender spot. That's where we're gonna tap. This is about four and five. And then the last one is halfway down your rib cage on the side, seven, five, uh, six and seven. All right, tap, tap your, tap your cheeks. Tap, 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 tap. Tap your breastbone. This one's really good for reducing anxiety. Tap underneath your clavicles, underneath your collarbones. This one is great for immunity, it boosts immunity. All right, and then halfway down your ribs, this is your kidney and, your kidney and adrenal line and it's gonna help you with detoxification, kidney liver line rather, detoxification. Oh, San Ramon, Arte, Arti, thank you. Arti, I love your name. Yes, devotional, Arti. Oh, bring your hands to your heart center. My friends, I gave you a little extra time and final rest. I hope you feel really, really good. I hope you realize the strength that you cultivate from your practice, the strength that we can cultivate all together, right? We're Dumbledore's army, my friends. Yes, we are. Sorry, a lot of Harry Potter references. Some of you are like, who is Harry Potter? Just Google, that's what I can say. Google search, you will find it all, right? Um, and we are all in the army together. We're all in the light workers army together. It's going to get dark, but with the light inside, we can make things amazing. We can learn the lessons we need to. Are there relationships that you keep having the same stuff happen? You know, it happened with your brother in a, when you were a kid. It happens again. It ha you know, the this, this same things. We're in a job and then the same things. Happen. What are those lessons? What are the big life lessons that you have to learn? Here's what I'll say from my, from my husband's um, personal health crisis for the last eight years. Again, it's not a global health crisis. We were going through a personal health crisis. I'll say that it, it, it gave us the opportunity to either look into the dark and be mad and upset and frustrated, or it gave us the opportunity to find the lesson and, and hone who we are. And I found that my mat and my breath were my respite. My meditation was literally my salvation. And yoga didn't save my life. It didn't save Siren's life. It saved the quality of our lives. So that as things changed, right? Um, things he couldn't do anymore, things we couldn't do anymore, things we would never be able to do in the future, uh, we were still able to find joy. So I know you can too. I know we can together. Don't miss the, don't, oh, love the hurdlers entry, cat. I'm so glad. Me too. Thank you, Joel Klosser, for that. So good. So don't miss the, the lessons, right? Let's, let's graduate together. Um, you're in the Lightworkers Army. Thank you. Keep coming back. Tonight, we have an amazing class with Anthony Chavez, Body Weight Sculpt. I imagine not only will be, there be transformation, but there's going to be energy work and Kriyas as well from him. Um, all day tomorrow, 8 a.m., 1 p.m., 6 p.m. Mountain Time. I love to think about it in Pacific Coast. That's 7 a.m., 12 noon, 5 p.m. on the Pacific. Same as your spine, cervical 7, thoracic 12, lumbar 5. We never talk about the sacral area because everybody has different amount of sacral bones fused together. All right. My friends, all around the world, hello. Would it be able to put the lower back exercises in the comment section? Darlene, um, I, I'll figure out how to do that. Maybe I'll just, and you love the spiritual seatbelt, Adrian. yep. You know what, let me say this. For the low back health, you can find it on Yoga On Demand. If you're a member, that's on Yoga On Demand. I've done three or four different short, um, low. it's called reverse office bod low back health stuff. Um, but I'll also type in the comments what it is. Yes, and you love the Kriyas, Jen. I'm so glad. Unk, can we please share the link for more info on tapping points? All right, so I need to send, oh yeah, I'm making a list. I'm making a list and I will type it in. I'll leave it in. So we need tapping and we need the um, low back. Yep, I will leave it on. I'm gonna let all of you go and have the most wonderful, wonderful Sunday. I'm honored that so many of you are still on. I'm just sitting here chatting and you're chatting and we're chatting and isn't the best. I love it, I could do this all day. Really, I just have to say thank you. Thank you so much. Literally, you are the light of my life. Uh, light Worker Army unites. Yes, Amanda. Namaste, Heather. Rochelle, love you. Thank you. 
Brittany, yes. You feel amazing? I'm so glad. I do too. I really do too. I could listen to you all day, Diane. Type in. Um, oh, search Siren tapping on YouTube. Thank you, Joel. So on this thing that you're on, YouTube, if you type in X-I-R-E-N, my husband's name, X-I-R-E-N. Adrian, have a beautiful Sunday. Love you. Um, and then you type plus anxiety attack um, or just type in Siren know how things work. His channel uh, has the tapping, the anxiety relief tapping, and also in the notes, uh, it has, uh, also Heather's video will stay live on YouTube. Yes, so you can review the seven tapping. Thank you, Joel, for reminding me. I'm losing my brain here. Um, yes, those tapping, so this video will stay live. You know what I'll do is the next time I'm on, I will absolutely do more. Let me say this to uh, Joel Klausler, um, Emily Schmuckler and I are gonna be doing 30 minute uh, teaching offerings for anyone in the world on YouTube. It's gonna be 3 p.m. Monday with Joel, pranayama and meditation. Um, 3 p.m. Wednesday, Ayurveda techniques and meditation with Emily. And next Friday, 3 p.m., it'll be with me. And we're gonna review all of the energy um, healing techniques from Donna Eden. So tapping will be in that. And you know what, team? I'll put it all in that link. And then that will be up on YouTube as well. So if you can't make it at Three Mountain, if that doesn't work for you, don't worry. It'll be a 30-minute experience for everyone. Um, so we're adding those in next week. So definitely get some Ayurveda amazing direct transmission from um, Emily. Um, and then if you haven't done Pranayama, that's breath techniques with Joel Klausler, you are going to get your heart and mind and energy just increased and elevated um, and that it's no longer at 7 15 a.m that's right it's no longer 7 15 a.m christina it's going to be 3 p.m in the afternoon a new email went out today or is going out today lisa's getting it out um 3 p.m the reason why poor emily emily she's so early she begged and asked and i was like of course we need to accommodate the pacific coast so um so west coast we're going to start and we moved that to 3 p.m so those are available and that'll be up as well. Yeah, and don't worry, I'll keep doing the tapping and energy at the end of, of classes uh, that I teach next week too. So you'll get lots of opportunities for that. I will pause here and I will type in the low back protocol for you all. Um, and I'll, I'll do it again too in one of my classes next week, I'll do it again. But you can always uh, review this video at any time. Thank you so much. Lindsay, you're so welcome. Thank you for coming. Alana, oh, positivity during these crazy times. Amazing. Oh, I'm so glad. If you, look, if you get direct transmission and energy from YouTube, you are open. So I say thank you if you're feeling that. You're very open and it is my deep pleasure. Oh, Hawaii, mahalo, aloha, mahalo. Um, special classes, 3 p.m. Mountain. Monday's pranayama, Wednesday, Ayurveda. Ayurveda is the sister science of yoga. Friday is all these energy healing kriyas and techniques with me. Um, Brandon, oh my gosh, so good to see you. Trent and my son, Brian, awesome. It's so good to see you all. Good to at least see the chat. I wish I, I someday soon I'll be in the live with you all, but what an honor to be with you. Thank you, my sweet friends. 119 of you still on. I love you. I love you so much. Uh, again, I'm gonna sit here and type, but you feel free to go. I'm gonna type in the chat. Um, uh, the back stuff for ya. Yeah. Can I type in the chat? Good no. All right, so I'm not typing in the chat. I promise I will type it up and we'll get it in the next time I teach. Yes, be well. Much love to everybody. So much love to you, Karen. Oh, I'm so glad you were here. Thanks for being here, Karen. So great to have you all. It's amazing. All right, much love. It'll be in the next, uh, my next video and you can always review the video. Uh, I send you so much blessings and love for the rest of your day. Namaste. Ming, it's a cup full. I love you. My cup's full too. My cup's full just even seeing your name. It's awesome. Happy Sunday, everyone. Namaste.